So here's our boiler setup, and we were B tagged, which means they turn off the gas to the unit. That was done by the uh, gas company when they gave us a new uh, gas meter outside. They did a free inspection. But anyways, we knew it had to be replaced at some point. That's the um, expansion tank, which is new. And there's all kinds of setup, like that's a pump. Uh, there's another pump around here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there's um, another gizmo set up here where um, it it takes care of the radiant heat underneath the floor. So our water tank is perfectly fine. It's only a few years old. This thing's 26. It had crud up inside, and we now know what happened to the chimney, which was we saw um, ice up and down and just just there a lot of it and we thought what is wrong so it turned out inside of this flue there's an, an upside down cone and it was filled with crud and Rick has been cleaning the burners but he took apart the inner mechanism as well and got to the heat exchanger and it was just uh, yeah the little fins are starting to go it's all cruddy so we cleaned it all up temporarily so that we could have heat overnight like yesterday and today it's working fine and basically they checked and look to see if the the flame is orange or blue blue is good orange is not good and they tested for CO so you clean it all up there's a CO detector which doesn't like do anything anyways if it's really bad you want that so you don't die but they always check inside the vent and I'm afraid I wasn't very happy and I call them a dumbass because where I said where is the CO supposed to go it's in the vent but anyways so um yeah we I spent the day kind of cleaning up yesterday we took apart the extra um cage we put all of the quail together in the same quail ranch here. Hi. Hello. So, there's more room. We might have to put an air exchanger in. We do have this here. We're not using it at all. This fan, because it doesn't stink at all because of the deep litter method with the leaves. But, um, because we didn't know what was wrong with the chimney that goes out and whenever you change something on an old house um, you know it lives and breathes in a certain way so we didn't know what we did wrong anyways so I'm gonna get a bathroom in here it's gonna be nice and today we're going to go look at new boilers and we kind of like this brand and we're going to go to a hydronic store because boilers work with water and uh, let's see what we do and it's really um, it's snowed and it's cold so thank you thank you Rick and there's no more dripping because it was so clogged up we had something catching it at the very back and it's completely okay now and we learned a lot Rick learned the most I just was in standby uh, an observer but I'm the one that saw the dripping at the back and he says I don't know he didn't think it was important then he checked it and it was like really dripping a lot so then we found out a lot like how more about how this works and I love machinery so this is going to be a lot of fun for me to uh, um, tag along about getting the new boiler <laughs>